Hi, welcome back to my feminine. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for all donations and subscriptions. All right, I am doing yes or no questions. Um, and all of the information about that is in my about me section if you're interested. All right, so divine feminine, let's go ahead and tap in, see what spirit has for you in this particular video. Spirit, thank you for clear communication. We have jazz playing in the background. They hit my daughter every now and then. Just letting you know. Hope everyone enjoyed their weekend. All right. About team, maybe. So the moon is the first card out. What you as a matter of fact, let me check something real quick. Spirit. Spirit. Let me check something for you, Divine Family, okay? Where are we at with it? I just want to check this out because I keep forgetting. And I don't have it written down. Really? I don't have the moon written down? Hmm. That's interesting. I guess I don't have it then. I refuse to believe that. Alright. Let's move forward. The moon is, I believe they said associated with Pisces, correct? If I'm not mistaken, or is it Cancer? I'm not for sure, but I think it is Pisces. So your conscious spirit, yeah. Okay, that could be uh, secretly someone could be mentally in conflict about your success. Yeah, because they tried to paint you out to be dark. They tried to paint you out to be evil. And you still came out on top as someone loving, kind, compassionate. You're still being seen as this person, this this beautiful spirit. You're still being held in high honor. And they don't like that. They have mental clarity behind this and it's eating them up. They're all in their thoughts behind this. They're secretly in conflict with your success. It's like this person tries to one-up you and you naturally one-up them every time. Not even on purpose. You don't even know. You don't even know. For some of you all, this is a hidden enemy. Yeah, this shit coming out again. And Queen of Cups. On a whole other deck. Is in conflict with you. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Let's clarify this. Matter of fact, I'm going to take both of these cards. Clarify this, uh, this, this Queen of Cups. Who is this Queen of Cups? In conflict with Divine Feminine. Clarify her. Why is she here? Nine of Cups. It's a Pisces. Nine, nine. Nine of Wands. The Sun. It's a Pisces in conflict. And this is and this is a uh, Aquarius. Five of, cup, five of Swords. That's Aquarius energy. Yeah. You could been you could have been compassionate to an, an Aquarius. Or you could be Aquarius in mental conflict with yourself behind some type of secret that you know about someone or about a Pisces. Okay, this Pisces see you loving on yourself. They want to be the only one loving on themselves. They see you content with yourself. They don't like that. They see that you have the courage to continue to persevere even through conflict. Success twice. Yeah, it's a Pisces out here hating. Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer, Sagittarius, maybe a Leo as well. With that sun card being here and the six of wands. Yeah, a Leo could be, ha uh, well, no, 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 no. If you're a Leo, you could be a success or you could be, or there could be a Leo somewhere in the background proud of you. All right, the heart from here. Okay. 
watching the hot with the hot for being here i feel like this pisces could have gotten some type of enlightenment or whoever this queen of cups is i'm gonna call it queen of cups okay whoever she is because she doesn't have to be a pisces she could be all in her head pisces deal with the subconscious all right this is a hidden enemy though this is an enemy that you could have met at work at school somewhere out in the public you've met this enemy in the public this isn't a family member all right the last video had the potential to have a family member this is someone who is not related to you why is the hierophant here why are you showing me the hierophant yeah this person went to go get spiritually enlightened all right this person the high priestess here with the hierophant and the high priestess this is a spiritual couple all right, this person sees that you are a, a spiritual leader or you may be of some type of spiritual significance. They don't like that. They fear that you're going to go off and um, end up meeting in higher fun energy and having this happy-go-lucky life. Maybe this person doesn't love themselves or maybe this person puts on the front that they do, but they do not love themselves. They're lacking that self-love. Nine nine though that talks about an ending. I feel that this person had been spiritually uh, led to, I guess, apologize. They don't want to do that though. Yes, look at them. They're sad. The five of cups with the death, with the ten of cups and the three of swords. Yeah, they're sad. They wanted to put an ending to the ten of cups for you. They don't want you to go off and have this happy home. I knew I was feeling this energy. They don't want you to go off and have this happy home happy life they wanted to put a death to this for you and they cannot someone in your past you could have already cut this person off could be very much so pisces scorpio here we got scorpio twice there could be a scorpio upset there could be a pisces somewhere upset and then we get the libra somewhere here heartbroken they're heartbroken it's it's really giving me someone that for some of you all this is a, a ex relationship i was gonna say ex fiance but this is an ex relationship ex communicated person you're not speaking to this person anymore yeah and for some of you all this is a hidden enemy the devil is here could be a capricorn you could be a capricorn there could be a capricorn that is um very capricorn or a gemini that's very distraught right now they feel that you're all celebrating living life loving life yeah, and it's putting the end into their celebrations. They can no longer celebrate. They could be lacking some form of finances. They could have parted their money away with with people who are illusions of love. They went towards illusions of love. They went towards the three of cups with the seven of cups trying to obtain the, the ten of cups. And that shit came crumbling the fuck down. Ooh. That is okay. Don't put it on the chair. Don't bring it too close to the chair. Yeah, this is what my roommate made her one. Oh, she paid that. Oh, she did. She did amazing. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get you an effort. No, no, no. Spirit said let's get background. Five of Pentacles. I feel like this person partied their all their money away. They were plotting against you. Yeah, you have divine intellect though. You had already got the heads up. Yeah, divine intellect down here. The high priestess with the higher fun. They can see you in this energy. They can see you as the high priestess, the higher fun. So it's like no matter what this person does, you always come out on top. I'm hearing Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Someone's upset about this. Yeah. The five of pentacles. Like these people really, or this person really thought that they were going to go towards an, another group or sibling rivalry so for some of you all this is a sibling this is a sister or a brother for some of you all this is family okay god stopped all attacks if it was anyone in your family god stopped that shit god like how you gonna attack your own family banish this person spiritually gifted envy and demonic energy after them that's why spirits say get the backstory so you're spiritually gifted this is why this the hierophant and the high priestess is here so it's like anyone trying to come against you, you already got the heads up and you already know how to move. And they don't like that. This is a Pisces, Scorpio here, the Aquarius here don't, that does not like that. Sagittarius, Cancer, shit, everybody on the table now. Capricorn, Gemini. 
all right spirit wants you to banish this person because they have an envious spirit and it's a demonic entity after them see they were too busy partying and, and drinking they were too busy to see that they were they weren't doing nothing but setting up their own demise yeah so they envy you because you weren't in this energy like they thought that by doing this that they would put you in this energy with them yeah and you did not yeah they spied they spied this yeah they spied just to find out that you had been stiff on your illusions of love see people tried to get you to come out and celebrate and be worldly and fuck off and do all kind of he just shit you not into and you were stiff on each one of the offers and this person is sitting there like oh mm, oh you know just sad they spied just to see that you you rejected your illusions but this person celebrated with theirs and now it left them broke yeah so you know hey that's them let's get you an affirmation let's get you an affirmation all right yeah i call in and am grateful for my divine union ten of cups is yours then i tell you they heartbroken that you're getting the ten of cups yeah i'm an abundant nurturer you're the empress the high priestess yeah so yeah your next relationship is going to provide you with an everlasting love and people like to say oh you know they're keeping people how foul and it's not the truth you create your own destiny if you feel you're going to get an everlasting love, guess what? You're going to get an everlasting love. But you got to balance out. And, and don't accept. Keep your standards. Don't accept anyone in anything. You don't have to. And you know that. The card showed me you didn't. You know? And this person thought you were. This person thought you were in the same energy as them. And no, you weren't. And now they out there broke by they got themselves could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Absolutely. All right, Divine Feminine, this is your reading, Ashe. Until next time, be well. Bye.